Hello everyone, Sharif Abouzid here with a new video. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can create a pop-up form inside your MailChimp account and then how you can display this pop-up form inside your WordPress website. So please stay with me. Now, let me show you first how you can create a pop-up form, which is a very simple and straightforward process with MailChimp. All you need to do is you need to sign in to or log into your MailChimp account and under audience, choose sign up forms and here select the pop-up form type and then click edit pop-up form. Now we will be asked to design our pop-up form here. For example, this is the default design of this form and here we'll find different tabs. This tab will show us how does this form will show up inside our uh, website but in the mobile uh, view and this is the general email sign up form. And this is what happens when someone signs up for our form. And if we want to connect or send an SMS, but this is a pro feature of MailChimp, so you need to upgrade your subscription. But I'm showing you all the features inside the free MailChimp account. Now, let's go to the first thing that you need to do is to go to your email sign up form. And here you can design or change the layout of your, and of course, the copy of your um, sign up form as you can see we have three tabs here also the style tab here we can change the font and the color so if we want to change the background color we can just do this here we want to change it to be something like this we can do this inside this place but i like to um, keep it like uh, let's keep this like um i don't know what to call this in english anyway um this is how you can change the style of your form and inside the layout you can choose different uh, layouts for your form for example if we choose this one now we will find that we have two columns here and actually I like this display better so we need to set or add an image here. Let's click here and I like to add this image and then click insert. If you haven't uploaded any images you can just um, upload any uh, images inside your MailChimp account here. So let's click insert. Now this is the image showing up here. Of course we can um, create or uh, change the layout or the wordings of my sign up form but i'll do this at a later stage so for the layout we are done i have chosen this layout here now for the settings i can go to under general settings i can uh, see how how do i want to display this uh, pop-up form if i like to display it on exit or immediately or after five seconds or when someone scrolled to the middle of the page you can do whatever you want but i like to choose the on exit setting here of course you can even choose for how many or for how many days you can you want to display this uh, form here and for the um, for the panel settings here we can enable the um, mobile uh, uh, setting and for the form settings themselves we can choose here actually because this is a free account i can't get rid of the mailchimp branding but we have the uh, we have to choose the position if we would like to have this like a slide in which will show or display uh, from the left or the side uh, bar of the screen but i like to go this and choose the model pop-up which will pop up this or display this form in front of any visitors of my website now for the setting for the success uh, message we can choose for how many seconds does the success message will stay so this this is about the settings tab now let me sh show you how you can add fields to your uh, form and also how you can change the wording in for example let's call this like sign up now and and receive special offers for example as you can see you just click and change this and of course you can change the headings if you want to make this like a paragraph or small text or a heading one let me choose a heading one this is bigger so let's choose a heading three let's fix this for the form itself here, as you can see, we have our email only. If you like to add a, um, the first name field, you can just click here and choose here if you want to add the first name, last name, address, phone number, and birthday. Of course, you can add more fields here. I like to add the first name. And then I need to change this. Let me just choose it. I need to change this to be at the top. So people will first add their first name and then their email address. So this is how my form will look like. Of course, we can just change the wording here. Yes, I want, for example, I want special offers, for example. 
I want special offers. Let me fix this. So now my form should be ready to be used. So now I'm done with the design. For the success message, of course, you can, you know, um, change, make changes here to whatever you want. Now, now we need to add this form into or inside our WordPress website. To do this, we need to click Save and Publish. And once you do this, you will be asked to choose where do you want to add this form. Of course, you can display this form in multiple websites but first let me uh, add the url of my website so i'll just go here i will copy the url of my website and then i will add it here and then click get started if you want to do this later on you can just click i'll do this later on so let's click get started here and now to be able to display this form inside our website we need to add a specific or a, sp a special code inside the heading of our website don't be afraid of this if you want some people will get scared or freak out when they see when they see um, this code but it's easy to be added actually all you need to do is to click um, copy to clipboard and then what you need to do is we need to install a plugin uh, it's a free plugin actually to be able to add this code to our uh, website pages it's the plugin called fluent smtp uh, or fluent sorry fluent snippets there are many other plugins uh, but this one is a new plugin and i really like the ui it makes it uh, very easy to add such uh, codes here so all you need to do is you need to go to your um, to click add new plugin and you need to search for fluent snippets and then install it as you can see once you do this of course you need to install and activate it you'll find a new tab here you need to go to fluent snippets settings and then we need to click to create our first snippet and because this is an HTML code, it will find that this is like written here. This is an HTML code or actually a code that we need to add to our website. Uh, we need just to click content here and we need to paste the content or the code itself here. And then we need to choose where do you want to display this code. We need to actually choose site header here. So now this code will be inserted or injected inside our website header. And then, of course, we need to give this a name. So call this MailChimp. Let's call this MailChimp pop-up. Pop-up. And that's it. I mean, we can set the groups. We can add tags. But I don't like to do this right now. I'll just click Create Snippet. After you do this, you need to actually click Activate the Snippet to be able to use it or to make this a code function uh, or to work inside the WordPress website. Now let me see if this um, code will work. The expected result is that we'll have this form pop up when someone um, open our website. And by the way, we need to check connection. If we need to, if we click this now, this should this will show up a success message to make sure that the code has been added correctly inside our website. So let's click check connection. As you can see, this now shows a success message, which uh, means that our website is now connected to our MailChimp account and this form will be displayed after we just click activate the uh, website link. Now we need to click close. As you can see now, we have this new message here. This says that this pop-up form will display inside our website. Of course, we can add multiple uh, websites inside our uh, MailChimp account to to display this form in these or uh, in all of these websites. Now, what I need to test is that I need to test if this um, pop -up form will display. So I need to click here, and I will open this website in incognito mode. And now let's try to exit because I have set this pop up to show up when someone tries to exit from the website. Let's click here, and as you can see now, the pop up form has been displayed or now is displayed inside our website if we uh, try to exit this of course we can change this to be displayed after like five seconds or 10 seconds or when someone reaches the middle of the page so um hopefully this was an easy to follow video as you can see this is an easy process actually you can do all you need to do is you need to create the pop-up form here inside your mailchimp account Take the code, go to your WordPress website, search for the Fluent SMTB plugin, click to add a new snippet, 
and then you need to add your snippet code or your code as you can see using the HTML PHP uh, code snippet type. So hopefully this was a, another video, helpful video for you. If you liked, please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I create three videos a week to help you create more attractive and conversion focused WordPress websites. Now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.